Hi, my name is Cody Light with Agco Fuse. Today, I'm standing in front of a Fent 900 Gen 6, and we will discuss how to set up your task doc system, which is Agco's agronomic data collection tool within your Vario terminal. Before you get started with your task, you're gonna to wanna to set up your settings of how to handle the tasks. From the home page, you're gonna to wanna to double tap your task doc button, and when you're in your task doc menu, you will wanna to go to the data settings. And within data settings, towards the bottom of the page, you're gonna see a connections menu. Underneath that, you're gonna see a drop down for three different types of export. USB device and cellular are the ones that we're gonna to wanna to use when we're exporting tasks out of the terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and select USB device. And then towards the bottom of the page, you're gonna see an automatic task handling menu. There's two selections here. The first one is a field selection task event. We're gonna to wanna to have that activated. What that does is when you select a field in task doc, if there's a field associated with the same name in the guidance side, it will automatically select that or query you to select that and vice versa. If you select a field in the guidance side when you create a task, it'll ask you if you wanna use that field for that associated task. So leave that activated. And then when we go to the bottom one, the automatic task handling, that's gonna be when you're utilizing a field boundary within the field. There's three different selections, continue with current task status. What that does is when you leave the field, it'll ignore the field boundary and continue with the current task that you're running. The automatic pause and start task will be when you leave the boundary, it'll pause it. And when you enter the boundary back, it'll start that task back up. And then the last one, automatic book task, when you leave the boundary, it'll automatically book the task and send it to the server. First, you will wanna create a task to collect the agronomic data from your implement. This could be an example of pulling an isobus sprayer to collect as applied data or an isobus planner to collect the as planted data. Now we will wanna go on from our home screen and double tap your task doc button. And then you will want to collect the drop down where it says no task selected. And you will want to add a task by simply hitting the plus button to create a new one. Here you will type in a name. And within here, you, you really wanna make sure that you name it something that you're gonna remember or to associate the job that you're doing in the field. Name it and select the green check mark. And then you're gonna to wanna to select the green check mark again to accept that task that you just created. Once you do that, you will see that the tractor automatically populates under the task. If you did have an isobus implement, such as a sprayer or a planter tied to the machine, that would automatically assign itself to the task too. There is an option called categories over on the right hand side that gives you uh, operator, client, farm field, selection. You can add those in if you wanna be a little bit more detailed, but it is not necessary to start the task. Once you have your task set up with all the information that you want, you simply hit the rocker switch in the upper right hand corner to record, and then it starts recording your agronomic data that you apply throughout your field. Now we're gonna show how to import a task data file into your terminal. With the USB plugged in, you're gonna to wanna to double tap the admin button twice, and then you will see a button that says USB. Select that, and now you'll see a tractor and a USB screen. In order to see your task, you're gonna to have to turn the task virtual switch on. Now that we have that, you see your task data files at the bottom of the screen. To import it, you simply select the file that you want, then hit the up arrow to get it into the tractor. If you have more than one file on there and you wanna bring them all in, instead of selecting them and hitting the single arrow multiple times, you can simply hit the three arrows up and it will bring all the files from the USB into your terminal. Once we do that, you will see a window pop up saying a new task has been seen, and you can simply hit the task that you want right there, select it, and it will start loading that task. Now that the task has been received by the terminal, we can back out and go back into your task doc menu. So we wanna hit the task doc button twice, 
and you will see, since I accepted the task, that it loads instantly into your task doc menu. Now with this task, we brought in a prescription. It could also include waylines, field boundaries, which this one also includes field boundaries. So if we look at it, you can see that it brought in your tractor, your implement, since we have an ISOBUS implement hooked up, and we can see our prescription. The prescription area is green and it has a little I beside it. If we push the I for information, you will see the prescription on the screen for you to view. If we hit OK, let's actually bring our map screen full screen. And if we hit the layer button, we can select the prescription map. And now, if we zoom out to our field boundary, you can see the entire map. So that is how you bring a task data file into the terminal and load the task. Once you have your task completed, now we need to book it to get the data off the terminal. To do that, you need to pause your task, and then you need to book it by hitting the check mark with the floppy drive button right below it. There's gonna be a booking confirmation window that comes up. Hit the green check mark, and now it is booked to be exported out via USB. In order to use the wireless data transfer available through Agco, you need to set your task doc settings to wireless instead of USB. To do that, we need to double tap the task doc button twice from the home screen, go into your settings, and now in the connections, you will see that you have USB device selected, hit that drop down, and select cellular. Once you do that, hit the green check mark, and now you can hit your test button, and the test button will tell you whether or not everything is working. When everything is working, you will see a green check mark right underneath cellular in both boxes that indicate that it's connected to GPS and to the TaskDoc network. Once you have completed your task and want to send it wirelessly using TaskDoc Pro, simply pause your recording and hit the booking button right underneath. Then you will want to hit the green check mark in the booking confirmation window and your task gets sent wirelessly using TaskDoc Pro. Thanks for watching.